Welcome. Let's take a look at using Newton's method to find the approximate value of the cube root of 7.9 to the nearest 0 0.00001. So recall that Newton's method is a numerical technique that allows us to approximate the solutions to the equation f of x equals 0. So what I need to do to be able to apply Newton's method is create a function that will help us in this approximation. And in doing this, probably the easiest way to go about creating that function is to think of this value we're trying to approximate as the solution to an equation so we're interested in x equal to the cube root of 7.9 and work backwards to build a function for which we would be interested in equaling 0. So if x is equal to the cube root of 7.9, I could imagine cubing both sides of this equation. If I did that, then I would have the equation x cubed equals 7.9. Now recall that I want to have a function equal to 0, so I want this to be function equals 0. So if I subtract 7.9 from both sides of the equation, I would have x cubed minus 7.9 equals 0. Now at this point, I have something that resembles a function equaling 0. So I could use Newton's method on this function to approximate this value because the cube root of 7.9 will be a zero of the function x cubed minus 7.9. So the function we're going to be interested in here is x cubed minus 7.9. So in um, setting up Newton's method, we'll go ahead and create a table. Our headers will keep track of the iteration. We'll keep track of the x value at that iteration. We'll need to know what the function is for that x value. So we can think of this as xn cubed minus 7.9. We'll need to know the derivative uh, at that x value. So we need to know our derivative of our function. And f prime of x in this case would be 3x squared. So our derivative at xn would be 3 times xn squared. And lastly, um, then we need to know, so we use xn, we use f at xn, and we use f prime at xn to generate our next x value. Our next approximation will be xn minus f at xn divided by f prime at xn. And then we will just watch the values that are created in this column until we get to the point where we're accurate to this many decimal places. So first of all, we weren't told where to start. So we don't haven't been given an x naught. So for our first iteration, we need to choose some initial value. Now, um, 7.9 is not a perfect cube. However, uh, 7.9 is close to 8, and 8 is a perfect cube. So I'm going to choose x naught to be the cube root of 8, which is 2. So my x naught, our starting iteration, will be 
xn equals 2. Then f at xn will be 2 cubed minus 7.9. Well, that's 8 minus 7.9, so that would be 0 0.1. Uh, then f prime at xn would be 3 times 2 squared, which is 3 times 4, or 12. So our next x value will be uh, 2 minus 0 0.1 divided by 12, which is approximately and I need to keep track of decimal places here. We need to go out to 6. So 1.991667. So our first approximation using the method is 1.991667. And so we now evaluate our function at xn cubed minus 7.9 using 1.991667. And if we do that, um, our function value is 0 0.000416. Our derivative at our x value is 11.900208. And so um, computing our next x value, we will want to determine what 1.991667 minus 0 0.000416 divided by 11.900208 is. And that is approximately 1.991317. So notice that after um, two iterations, our approximations agree to three decimal places. So let's continue on. We just found our second approximation via Newton's method, and that was 1.991317. So now we need to evaluate our function at that value for x and our derivative. So our function at 1.991317 is negative 0 0.003744. And then our derivative would be 11.896030. <clears throat> so our next approximation to the value of that cube root would be 1.991317. Typically this, well, it would be minus and then a negative, 0 0.003744 over 11.896030. So that actually becomes addition and that is approximately equal to 1.991632. So we've found our third approximation with Newton's method. And so our third approximation for x is 1.991632. And so now we need to evaluate both the function and the derivative at that value of x. And for the function, we get 0 0.000004. And for the derivative, we get 11.899. Seven nine four. 
So our next approximation, or our next estimate of x, will be 1.991632 minus 0 0.000004 divided by 11.899794. Something to notice here is that we are now subtracting a very small number, um, which is a good indication that we are pretty darn close to that value of x. And so uh, the this is approximately equal to 1.99 one six three two now notice that um, our next value our x4 1.991632 notice that these now agree to the five decimal places indicated in the direction. So what we can say then is that the cube root of 7.9 is approximately equal to 1.99163. I hope you find this helpful.